start looking at now is in the last pro in the last problems we had, the enthalpy of the reaction was given to us. Yeah. Okay, and now we're gonna kind of explore how that enthalpy is calculated. Okay, so how is the enthalpy of a reaction calculated? So Hess's law says that when we go from a particular set of reactants to products, the change in enthalpy is the same for the reaction, whether or not the reaction takes place in multiple steps or the reaction takes place in one step. Okay, we haven't really like dove into reactions that go in multiple steps. It's not really something we'll cover, um, but we're going to look at how they actually happen. So Hess's law is going to be us forming these multiple steps of the reaction to get all the way from reactant to product and how that happens. Okay, so... Uh, let's see. We're going to just basically jump in with examples. We're not, there's not really much theory to teach with this. There's no new equations. We're just going to jump in with the example. Okay. So <laughs> Delta H with a one. Okay. The, the little sub one right there is the enthalpy of the overall reaction. Okay. That would be the enthalpy that we've been given in one of the problems so far, but it tells us the reaction is carried out in two distinct steps. All right, so this says the reaction is carried out in two distinct steps. And here's the steps that are given to us, okay? Step one and step two, or it has them labeled as two and three. Those are, I call these the mini reactions, okay? I don't think that's the technical term, but that's what I call them, okay? Um, so here's the reaction that we're basically trying to get to, but here's the mini reactions that take place to get us from actual reactants to actual product, okay? So we have to arrange these equations to get it to look like the actual equation, okay? We've got to take the parts out of the mini reactions that help us get to the final product, okay? We have these mini reactions that tr are going to try to get us to the final reaction. The final reaction is also listed um, down below, okay? I've got it listed at the top and at the bottom. N N2 plus 2O2 yields NO2. And we're trying to, to basically confirm the delta H that's given. Okay, usually they won't give you this answer, right? For this problem, I'm showing you what it is, but usually this is gonna be what we're solving for is that delta H of the whole reaction, okay? And so what we have to do is to basically try to get these mini reactions to match our overall reaction. And then we'll look at how do those um, enthalpies add up for the total reaction, okay? So I wanna look at basically what, what items do we need as products and what things do we need as reactants, okay? N2 is a reactant, and O2 is a reactant, and then NO2 is a product. So I want to check my mini reactions to see, first of all, are things on the correct side? Okay, do I have N on the left, and do I have NO2 on the right? Do I have an N N2 yeah. on the left anywhere? Yeah. Right there, right? And do I have NO2 on the right anywhere? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so right now I don't have to reverse any of my reactions. We're going to get to some where we've got to move them around. We've got to switch them around. Okay, but right now we don't have to do that. Okay, I want to start underlining the things I need in my reaction. Okay, I need N2, I need O2, and I need NO2. But I've got some extra things in there, don't I? What's my extra pieces of that? And is it on both sides, the reactant side and the product side? Yeah. Right? These guys are actually going to cancel out because we have one of them as a reactant and one of them as a product in our mini reaction. Okay, So they cancel out and that leaves us with N2. How many O2s? Two, two, O2. two O2 and how many NO2s? Two. Just like it calls for. Two. Right? So, wait, are we going to the two O2s out because they're not on different sides? That's right. They're on the same side of the reaction so they get added together. Right? It's All so of the reactants weird. and the products. Uh-huh. So would we, right. we are always given the mini reaction and we're always given these values for the mini reaction. What we're always solving for is delta H of the whole reaction. Okay. I was thinking we were going to have to build it. I was like, oh, no, yeah, we don't have to build stop. the mini reactions at all. They will give us these values. Usually what we're trying to find is the H value of the whole reaction. So like it won't usually be given to us right there. Okay. okay? But let's go ahead and check it. Okay. We okay. did. We didn't have to like cancel full reactions or anything. So all we're going to do is take 180 minus 112 and we get, right? I think we get 68, which is exactly what I had up on the top. Okay. So plus 68 kilojoules. Then why would they give us the equations? If you could just, if we could just add them, is that what you're asking? Okay. This is the simplest of examples. We will see examples in which we have to reverse one of the reactions. If we need to multiply a whole reaction by two, 
And whatever we do to the reaction has to be done to the enthalpy value as well. Okay, so we started with the most simple reaction, but we're going to have to see ones where we do a lot of manipulating with the mini reactions. Okay? So now it says if a reaction is reversed, the sign of delta H is also reversed. So if one of the mini reactions has maybe our product on the reactant side, we can reverse that whole reaction, but we also have to change the sign of the H value because now the, act, the, the reaction is not losing heat, it might be gaining heat. Okay, so that's rule, one rule of that. Um, the magnitude of delta H is proportional to the quantities of reactants and products. Um, and if we have to adjust the coefficients of our reaction, we have to adjust the delta H value for that mini reaction as well. So let's say that our mini reaction just has O2. And in our final reaction, we need 4O2. If we take that whole reaction times 4, we have to take the delta H times 4 also. Okay, so I, I want that to kind of be clear is um, if I have a reaction that says a plus B yields AB, whatever. Let's say that's one of my mini reactions. But in my final reaction, I need 4A. But it doesn't really, I don't really need to change my B. It doesn't matter. I still have to take that whole thing times 4. Okay, so that it applies there. And I would also have to take my H values. Um, all right. So we have um, carbon graphite and carbon diamond. Using enthalpies of combustion, calculate the delta H for this reaction. So this is the reaction we're aiming for right here. Okay, that's our, our big reaction. That's what we want it to look like. But here's our mini reactions down below. So does, do our mini reactions have everything on the correct sides? No. I don't think so. Right? This one is right. But the second one is not, right? Yes, because the other one is on the other side. Okay, so what I do is I like to just rewrite it all the way, okay? I'm going to cross this one out because I don't want to pay attention to that when I'm, when I'm crossing things out or, or, or doing that. I'm just going to rewrite it. So I, now I have CO2 on my reactant side. And then my product side is carbon diamond plus O2. Okay, I, re I reverse the whole thing. I, I switch my products and my reactants. But I also have to change this value to now be Nine. positive. Positive. 396. Oh my goodness. Okay. So in that rewriting, we just um, reversed it? We flipped, right. And sometimes I like to, you'll see me write a little R here to show that like, I need to reverse that reaction. If I have to do things to all of the mini reactions, I just rewrite the whole set. Sometimes that's just simpler for me. But in this case, I only really had to change one, so I can just write it right below. Um, these problems sometimes take a little bit of space because you might have to do some manipulating a couple different times. So um, just be kind of caution or oh, be careful of that. But now let's see. Can we cancel out every let's, – let's underline what we need. We need graphite, carbon graphite, and we need carbon diamond. But that's it. So now I'm going to see, do my O2s cancel? Yes. Yeah. I've got an O2 here and an O2 here, right? Be really careful about where your arrows are, mm -hmm. right? Make sure you're looking on the right sides. I can cancel CO2 and cancel CO2. That leaves me with carbon graphite and carbon diamond. And so that means I'm not dealing with negative 396 anymore. I'm going to combine those two things, which gives me a positive 2 kilojoules. Yeah, right, we're trying to find, this is what we're aiming for right here, up top, and we have to manipulate these mini reactions to look like this one. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I accidentally switched forward. I think I have several steps written out for you in slides here, but I don't think I like to do that. I'm just going to, I'm just going to work it out on this sheet rather than. Oh, why are they fractions? They take up, it takes up like four slots. Yeah. I don't like fractions. Good thing I don't have that I don't know. I'll just go through the, I don't know. I'll go through them, I guess. Okay, so let's look at what we need here. Let's look at our products and our reactants. Here's our arrow on both. Okay, I need N2 on the reactant side and H2O on the reactant side. Do I have either of those on my reactant side? You don't have H2O. My H2O is on my product side, and N2 is also on my product side. So I need to reverse both reactions. Okay. I'm going to reverse both reactions. I have that for you on the next slide. Yeah. Okay, so let's move to the next slide. I have those reversed. Yeah. Okay, so if I was doing this by hand, though, I would actually go ahead and rewrite them reversed. Okay, because I like to have everything like clearly written in front of me. So if I was doing this by hand, I'd make a little R on the first section, on the first mini reactions. I would rewrite them, and then I'd cross them out once I get them done. Right, once I'm done looking at it, I'd fix it how I want it. 
Now I've got to look at my coefficients and say, I need how many of each of these things, right? I need two N2s. But what am I starting with here? One half. A half. So what do I have to multiply this whole reaction by to get one half to two? Two. Three, four. 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 I need to multiply the whole eight. thing by four. <laughs> right? I need to multiply That's the whole thing by four. Five. And then how many, ox how many um, waters do I need? Six. Uh, six. I need six. So I'm going to take that whole thing times, oh, yep, six. times three. Because we already started with two. Oh, then you yep. also have to multiply the, but then the no, you multiply by Whatever happens to the reaction, we also have to do over here. And did you notice from the previous slide to this one, the signs on the delta H has changed? Yeah, they did. Did yeah. you notice that? Oh, they did. Yeah. They did they? Okay, maybe point that out or highlight that. As we reverse them, those signs got changed. So I'm going to take this times four, this times three. All right, so here we go. I've got the whole top has to be taken times four. The whole bottom is going to be taken times three. And then the next slide shows the result of that. Okay? If you're going to say single equation. Okay, if we needed to take... Stop. This H2 was originally three halves, right? Yes. Right, so times four gives us six. Six over... No, I Right. Oh my right. Uh -huh. All right. So now we've got our reaction to this point. I want to start highlighting the things that we need to keep. We need to keep N2, N2, 6H2O. We need to keep 3O2 and 4N3. So now we look at the things we didn't underline and see did they cancel? Mm -hmm. yep. 6H2, right? Here's my arrow. Here's my arrow. So those cancel out. I've already manipulated the delta, the mini delta H's, and so when I add those together, I get 1,268 kilojoules. Okay, I don't like walking through it on the slides. I think I'm going to take that out so we can actually do it by hand next time, but um, yeah. that's what we're looking for there. Okay? Whatever happens to the mini reaction has to help into the delta H, too. That's the important part. All right, so this time it has... All right, here we go. There's our reaction that we're aiming yeah, for. Lord. You guys. Stop. There's the reaction that we're aiming for. Here's the four mini reactions we've got to deal with. Okay, so we need to start identifying if we need to reverse any, what has to happen with those. So let's look at what things we need on what side first. Okay? We've, we need boron. Um, and it's on the left, right? We need H2. Where is it at? At C. And we need B2H6. B. Here. Okay. So where do we see off right off the bat? There's got to be a couple things that get done. You got to reverse it. Which one? B. So we need to reverse. Wait. So then reverse. D technically just. It's going to help us cancel things. Oh. Okay. This went from H2O liquid to H2O gas. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. So what happened? What There's something else we need to do. We have to multiply H2. Okay, we need to multiply reaction C by what? Two, three, by three. Oh, by three. three. Okay, because I need three H2s. So I, I'm going to rewrite all four mini reactions. You could only rewrite the two that you're changing if you want, but for me it's more comfortable to have the whole set uh, in front of me. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. 2B. You don't need to write solid gas. Um, that stuff for what we're doing right now doesn't really affect it, so I'm not going to write that, but... Three halves O2 yields B203. And that stays at negative 1273 because we didn't adjust A at all. Reaction B needs to get reversed. So that means we're going to do B203 plus 3H2O yields B2H6 plus 3O2. And we reverse that reaction. So that means that's going to be positive. 2035. Reaction C, we're going to take times 3. So 3H2 plus, what's 3 times a half? 3, over two. three halves O2 yields H2O. Okay, this would be the only one I need to keep the liquid with because there's two different types of H2O that happen. So this one up here, I'm going to put the G so that it cancels well. We took that times 3, which means we also need to take the H value times 3. So negative 286 times 3 gives me negative 858. And then the last reaction we didn't do anything with. We had H2O liquid, H2O gas, 
So for H2O gas, like the other one has the three, does that affect it at all? Where is it? In B. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm, it does. Okay, so now, yeah, you're right, it does. So now we're going to have to maybe take something on this last reaction to help it cancel too. Yeah. Right, so what do you think? Yeah, we need to take it by three also. Yeah, Carly. Is the C, is the H2O three the H2O? You yep, I did. Yep, you're right. Thank you. I missed that right there. We also need to take this reaction D by three to be able to cancel. Okay, and so like you'll see, like I didn't catch that in the first one until I started rewriting out my mini reactions. So you can alter it there, um, but I hope you catch it right away. That's great too. Okay, so now 44 times three is one... 32. All right, so now I'm going to start kind of identifying what things I need to keep and what things I need to get rid of. I need to keep 2B, 3H2. Those are my reactants I need to keep. And then my products I need to keep is B2H6. So now I've got to start going through them and seeing if they cancel. Okay? So what about the first one, B2O3? Do I have a cancel for that on the other side? Yes. Here and here. Okay. 3H2O gas, that cancels here and here. 3H2O liquid, here and here. But what about my oxygens? Mm, wait. Well, you can get rid of what do three yes. halves plus three halves equal? Six. Three. Three, right? Three halves is one and a half. So I've got two of those, that equals three, and I've got three O2s right there. Okay, so I can combine both of those to be able to cancel that on the other side. You see how that works? I know, the fractions are not the most convenient, but it does work. Okay? So now I've got everything manipulated how I want. The things I need to keep are where we want them to be, and now I just add up all those delta H's. Okay? So negative 1273 plus 2035 minus 858 plus 132. I got, what'd you get? Anybody do it? I'm slowly typing. Okay, sorry. Okay. Um, oh, no, I'll take that back. Did not do that right. I didn't type it in my calculator. This is 36. Yes, thank you. All right, so a positive 36 kilojoules.